Hey guys, this is John from MixCoach. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to replace a kick in the free version of Massey DRT. Uh, so first thing, get a session with a kick in it. This kick, uh, let me go ahead and play it for you. Not a bad kick sound. The only reason I'm going to replace it is just to show you guys kind of how to go about replacing it with Massey DRT. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and create a couple of new tracks. We're going to go ahead and create a MIDI track as well as a stereo instrument track. Uh, it needs to be stereo because I'm actually going to use Superior Drummer uh, to go ahead and replace these. Um, and it is a stereo output plugin. So let's go ahead and pull that up. I like to use Superior Drummer um, just because it's easy to use and it has great drum sounds in it. Uh, there's the kick. That would be what we're replacing it with. Or we can go ahead and select a new one. We could replace it with that one. Or we could go ahead and replace it with this sound right here. Okay. I'm actually going to go ahead and pick this one to replace it with. Um, and what we're going to do next is we're going to highlight this kick track. So the whole kick track. And uh, we're going to go to the instrument Massey DRT. And we're going to pull this up here, and we're going to take a look and analyze it. Now, this is again is this is the free version, and uh, Kevin and I both have the pay for version. It has a lot more features. It is worth the I think ninety six dollars that it is. Um, this plugin you can find it over on MasseyPlugins.com, uh, and it is the Massey DRT. There's a nice demo of the the full version here, and uh, you just click the Try em button, download the plugins here. And uh, again, they never expire, never beep or mute, and they just have extra features in the pay for version. So anyway, this is the free version. So anything I'm doing today, you can do yourself if you download the free version. And so what we're going to do is you pull this up, highlight, click analyze selection, and it pulls up all of these hits. You can see the audio file behind these little marks. The little marks are what it is actually going to trigger. So what we need to do is adjust the loudness and sensitivity so that it only kicks whenever you want it to. Usually that sometimes comes in in between here. Um, and so what we're going to do as well is, is drag this down here. I don't want to undo that when you see how it kind of takes away this kick hit right here. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one back. So that looks about right to me. And uh, what we're going to do is this little mid MIDI drag and drop button is what you're looking for. And I'm going to put it in shuffle mode real quick just so it'll just drag and drop to the beginning of the session here. So we just drag that, literally click that MIDI drag and drop, and just drag it on up here to this to that little section and drop it there and it will be good to go. All right, so it's created a MIDI track. I'm gonna put it back in grid mode. We're gonna close out of this and we're gonna go take a look. Looks like there was a little bit of, uh, it added a little bit of time at the beginning. So what we're gonna to wanna to do, let's just pull up the MIDI editor real quick here. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is highlight all of that track and uh, go ahead and put it where it needs to be put. Um, just use the grid mode and put it exactly on where it needs to be. Zoom in and uh, that looks like it's it's right where it needs to be. Um, we're going to set this up to be channel one of the MIDI Superior Drummer and what this defaults to on the uh, on the free version is it defaults to putting everything on C3 which is not where the kick is in a, uh, in a MIDI structure what we want to put this on is C1 so we just drag this down in the pay for version what happens is you can basically say hey this is a kick and it automatically put it on the kick track uh, the kick kick sound um, but we'll just go ahead and drag this down to, to that not too much trouble to do that and so since we're all set up here, let's mute this kick. I'm going to solo up the our new kick and the snare, and let's just have a listen. Sounds great to me. So let's go ahead and just print this kick. We're going to go ahead and hide, make an active that guy. We're going to create a new audio track, a mono audio track, and it's going to be, we're going to call it K. Okay, and so what we're going to do is I'm going to take this out of bus. The input is going to be bus. Let's do 35, and we're going to reroute this instrument track to bus 35. Hit the record button, and we're going to record a little bit of this thing.
All right, and as you can see now that we, uh, we've printed this thing, what you can do is after you print the whole thing, you can hide and make an active. And then what you're going to do is uh, you can basically process this any way you want. You can pull up other plugins on it. You have a new printed kick. So anyway, until next time, this is John from Mixed Coach. Have a good one.